Hello, I'm Chris Parker with parkerphotographic.com and I just got back from a vacation in Florida where I shot over a thousand images and I don't own a laptop, which created a problem. How was I going to back up my images from the media card to ensure I didn't lose any images through theft or other means? Well, what I did was I connected my camera directly to my iPad and then I used the Lightroom app to transfer the files from the camera to the iPad. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. Now, once I had those backed up or transferred to the iPad, the cloud service automatically uploaded those files into the cloud. So now I had three backups, but it created another problem because I was very anxious to review the images and start editing, which I did. Once I got back home, that's when the problems started up with trying to sync the Lightroom app with Lightroom Classic to transfer the files from the iPad to my computer, it didn't work as expected. So I'm gonna show you how to overcome that and sync your files with a mobile device with Lightroom Classic and download those files to your primary computer so you can work with them in Lightroom Classic. So if you're ready, let's do it. All right, so with your Lightroom subscription, you can download Lightroom to your main computer as well as a mobile device. Now, once you have that app installed on your device, you then need to find a cable that will connect to your camera and the iPad version that you have. Now, you may need to use an adapter like this where we have, in this case, USB that I can plug into on this side, and then I can connect to a USB-C connection on the other end. You may need HDMI for your camera depending on your camera and the connection types that are available. Now, once you've done that and you've connected your camera to the iPad, we now need to turn on our camera so that Lightroom will recognize that there's a device connected. And then what you're going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and take my glasses off here so I can actually see. We are going to click on this first icon in the bottom right. So this little blue button here, we have two icons. Click on the first one, and then you're going to select from camera device. Then we're gonna click on this little box up here. So once you click on that, it adds a little check mark and it selects all the files on your media card. Now we wanna click on import down here at the bottom and then Lightroom will automatically transfer the files from your media card to the iPad. Now, once that's done, we wanna upload the files to the cloud so we have another backup and then we can sync those to Lightroom Classic once we get back home. Now to upload to the cloud, we're gonna go back to the little cloud icon and we're gonna click right here where it says resume syncing or syncing, depending on the version of Lightroom that you're using. Once you do that, it'll switch to pause syncing, which you can then pause the syncing if you need to. But once you have it set up like this, it will then automatically begin uploading those files into the cloud. Now, once it's done doing that, you may decide to begin editing your images, which you can. And then once you get back home, you wanna download or sync those files to Lightroom Classic. So now let's jump into Lightroom Classic and I'll show you how to do that. All right, like I mentioned, once I got home, I figured all I had to do was click right here and then click on resume syncing or sync to begin syncing the files from the Lightroom mobile app into Lightroom Classic. But it did absolutely nothing when I started the syncing process. And that's because remember, we need to download the files from the cloud to our computer and then Lightroom will also import the files into the Lightroom catalog. So before we can download the files, we need to tell Lightroom where to place those files. So if we click on this little cog icon, that will open up preferences and then you wanna click on this option right here where it says specify location for Lightroom synced images. You're gonna choose your folder from here. Now this creates another problem, at least it did for me, and that is it's going to take all those images that I've already organized on the Lightroom mobile app and it's going to unorganize them. So I've created albums in the Lightroom mobile app to organize those images by type of images and or by location. So now I need to take all those files that are no longer organized in folders and reorganize them into folders. But there's something we can do to make it a little bit easier, and that's by turning on use subfolders formatted by capture date, and then you can choose your date format right here. So it's going to create a folder called 2023, 
and then it's going to create another subfolder based on the date of those images that were created at that time and it will create new subfolders for each new date. So that helps organize the images a little bit. So if we go ahead and close preferences and then turn on syncing, it's going to create those subfolders, which you can see right here. I have 2023, I have 552 images. I already went through and I deleted a lot of those while I was on vacation. That's why there's not over a thousand like I mentioned before. And then it creates a new subfolder for each date that I created images on that specific date. Okay, so now I can go in and say, okay, these are all in the same location. So I can right click on this folder and I can rename it based on the naming structure that I have for organizing my images. If you want more information about organizing your images in Lightroom Classic, check out the video tutorial that I placed in the description. Okay, so I'm gonna rename that folder later on because I don't want to disclose where these owls are. They are in Southwest Florida, I'll say that. Okay, but we have another problem here. On this date, I created some images of these burrowing owls again, but I also went to a different location later in the day. And I believe this was at a wildlife park in Fort Myers. So now I need to separate these images into two different separate folders. So what I would do in this case is, since I already have one folder of images here in the same location, I'm gonna select my first image, I'm gonna hold down my shift key, and I'm going to click on the last image to select that one and all the images in between. Now, all I have to do is click and drag those over that folder where I want them placed and it's going to move them on your hard drive from one folder to another folder. So once I release, I'm gonna get this little message stating that we are going to be moving the files on the disk and this is going to cause the corresponding files on the disk to be moved if you wanna proceed. Yes, I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click move and then Lightroom will move those from the one folder on your hard drive to the other one. And now you can see I have more images in here and all those images I selected are now moved into this folder and they're removed from this one. Now I know all of these images are the same location, so I can go ahead and rename this folder accordingly. Now all I have to do is go through the other folder of images and move them as needed and rename the folders. Now, one last problem is, all of these subfolders are now inside of this 2023 main folder. I don't want that. I want them to reside inside of this top folder here, landscape and wildlife, along with all these other folders that I have here based on location. So we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna select the top folder, hold down our shift key, click on the last, and then click and drag to the top folder here that way, Lightroom will then move all of those subfolders into a new location. Once you click on move, it will go ahead and move those images accordingly. All right, to continue elevating your Lightroom Classic skills, check out this free Lightroom Classic for Beginners course or this Lightroom editing playlist.